Hello friends, it's me, Self-Critical Automaton, and it's also stream time. <clears throat> it's once again that Tuesday of the month, and it's time for Teardown. The game I've been streaming for like a while now? I'm still enjoying it a lot, but I kind of hope it's not too much longer. I want to try streaming something else. Hello, as always, to my most loyal of viewers and also housemates, Acrylic Spatter. I think we unlocked a new thing last time. Oh, yeah. I heard something. Quillez, the security company, they're installing secure vaults on the premises. Very sturdy stuff. They must have a gold mine of tools lying around. I could use some of that for my parking garage. Can you head over and pick them up? Which means that we're probably going to get to explore the wider part of the secret development site mission, which we didn't previously get to explore any of except for a weird island silo. Oh, hell yeah. Previously, we could only explore this zone. I wonder if we can go back over there now or if we're limited to the L-shaped situation up here. Secure vaults, fire alarm, wired alarm boxes. So they're probably all alarmed, which is going to mean that I have to plot a route that will let me grab each of these. But I think the verticality is the kind of the new thing about this mission. Most of the previous missions have been relatively 2D, whereas this is clearly pretty tall as uh, locations go. Which also means I get to have my, my fun, my delightful experience that I like, where I run around and smack holes in all the walls looking for discarded treasures. Well, that's a mission goal, so I'm not going to fiddle with that right now. Oh, this is the one of the vaults they're installing. That's one of the nice things about games with immersive sim DNA going on inside them is that you can reasonably assume that you can figure out what a place is instead of just having abstract geometry be abstract geometry. Although it's these guys who researched the, I say research, who developed the uh, robots, these things specifically, that have been a threat in some previous missions. So how, uh, how effective are these robots as... Uh, theft prevention tools if the site uh, where they were developed is not using them for theft prevention. Oh, 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 Jesus. That seems like, um, that seems like a fairly obvious uh, hazard. I'm pretty sure it's not legal to have an open gap above a, uh, a space like that. Um... Still, got me $200 worth of Mugatori cigars. Well, Muratori. Moratori cigars? Oh, hello. Oh, there's a whole ass... Oh, it's the, the jack is what I'm stealing, not the robot. Okay. But yeah, no, if I was a security company... If I was hiring a security company to install guard robots, and I, I was invited into their cool office for my high-level corporate negotiations, and they were like... There were just completely no robots there. I would not feel comfortable hiring those robots. Motivational reminder appreciation token. Slash Jillian. Slash Jillian? Does that mean by Jillian or for Jillian? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. It's always good to check. I guess this is the CEO's private bathroom and spare, uh, spare suit, uh, keeping place. There's a word for those, but I'm not sure what it is. And then this is personal access to the parking garage. And then this is outside. Okay. Oh shit. Probably shouldn't be using my gun for this. <laughs> I have a perfectly serviceable hammer 
which does not have limited limited uh, ammunition, or I suppose ham munitions. From ooh, there's a lot of uh, classy glass staircases that I'm a bit worried about treading on. <laughs> Quelle's corporate umbrella. Oh, robot factory. I wonder if the robot factory is guarded with robots. I don't believe it will be because it should say on the on the mission screen if the pl like what the guards and things are. Oh, I thought that was a I thought that was a thing, but it was in fact nothing. Machines making machines, making machines, making machines, making machines, making machines, making machines. Pretty cool that you could accidentally knock the uh, brakes off of that thing. Let me out. Doors shut. I've got no idea how I'm going to manage to loot this entire place because it's enormous. I suppose, but everything I'm finding is so valuable. Office safe master key replica uh, that maybe it doesn't matter if I don't find everything. Can I break the globe? You want me to smash it? There you go. Um, now it's just like in real life. What a beautiful bouquet of roses picked up. Good to know. I feel like actually I should be causing a mess. I should be I should be venting my disgust at the excesses of uh, the corporate machine. <laughs> Instead of not that. Okay. So if I can, if I can get a look from the outside, I can figure out the extent of the place. Oh, shit. Okay. So that's where I just was. What's that underslung room? Is that... Is that the one of the rooms I was in, or is that a sort of a semi-hidden room? This place is huge. This is this the, like the biggest level? No, that must be the the two offices. Then that's the big showroom floor, and then that's the CEO office up at the very top. Okay, so that's everything that's there, and this facility looks fairly self-contained as well. So let's have a look at that in a second. I do kind of want to have a look in here. This is where they had the secret robots being developed, so... Now that the robots are more broadly in production, why not have a nosy around down here? Although I made a mess the last time I was down here, so maybe they've, uh... not bothered to clean up and they've just abandoned the place? It'd be funny if all the mess I made the last time was still messy here. It does kind of look concerningly messy down here. Gyroscope, $170. Cuz this is where all the like little robots were walking around before, so... Did the angry escaped robot do this? Or is this supposed to be... Is this a sort of a abstracted aftermath of what I was doing? Uh, but without the um details of my specific upfuckery. Or maybe there's like a mad robot down here or something. It's funny because there's a mad robot here in my room as well. And its name is Self-Critical Automaton. Let me know if the audio's busted by the way. You guys should be able to hear various crashes and bangs. And some dweepy dwoopy music also. Well, I came all the way down here and there's fuck all to find. I suppose uh, the idea is that on the previous mission in this map, you come down here, you get the thing, you get attacked by the robot and you escape. Um... And then when you play this mission, you think, oh, I can go back and check if there's any valuables down there. And then you found the two valuables that I found down here. But I'd already found those valuables because I fought the robot for them. Because yeah, ro robots are a bit like dogs, you know? They both want the treat and they'll fight over it.
All right, well, that answers that question. Time to check out that facility on the end there, see what that one's deal with. That's clearly the, like, corporate showroom and office. Although I should maybe check out what's in the stairwell. And then there's all the factory stuff over there. What's that blue thing? Is that, like, a fancy modern roof that's been added onto an old-ass production facility? That's the warehouse. That warehouse is fairly self-contained, so that'll be easy to look at as well. That one's under construction, I guess. I wonder if there's something hidden under the elevator. does not appear to be the case. Oh, hang on, if I'd gone and then... Oh, fuck, okay. Well, I guess I can climb out and get down that way. But yeah, no, there were easier ways to check what's underneath the bottom of an elevator. This is the old... Uh, put a door in front of someone and then they don't even think to check if it's locked. Aha! An outboard motor worth sixty dollar dudes. Nothing in the boat though. Buckaroonies. Moolah. Wonga. Fat stacks. That's what we all really look for in this life, because while money can't buy happiness, it certainly can buy everything else. And when you have everything else dealt with it's a lot easier to find your happiness. Oh, I like these downward dropping uh, gates on the front of these. <clears throat> these are animal containers, aren't they? Robots can't get no respect. Crane and a forklift might be useful. We can find out when we come back. These are, oh, these are safes. Now there wouldn't possi there couldn't possibly be anything valuable in a safe that hasn't been delivered yet, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, door's not locked. Pro tip, when you make a sinister secret robot making facility, generally speaking, the done thing is to lock the doors. I guess it's not a secret robot facility, they're very public about what they do here. Still wise to lock your doors though in case creepy thieves like myself come a knocking, which we do. Let's see, I was down... I was over there looking up at this. So maybe these are work offices then. Infrared transmitter. Like if that's the corporate showroom, this could be offices where actually people actually do work. They don't seem like labs, so who knows. I do love knocking down transmitter towers, though. Any video game that lets me knock down transmitter towers, instant, like, plus one to the out of ten score. Oh, I'm glad that trick works. I'd forgotten about it. I used to do it all the time when I, when I was playing this the last time, but you can, if you stretch one of these out, you can drop it in midair and then stand on it. <laughs> Aha, it's the other side of that gate. Okay. Is that supposed to be that low res? I feel like it's not. There's the hollow deck. Oh, that's a that's a camper van. On I thought that was a truck in its own right. 
Someone decided to camp here. Top 25 camping spots in Lockell worth $25. Oh, that's interesting. I can pick this up while I'm in it, which isn't something you're normally allowed to do with objects. If this if this trailer be a rockin', don't you dare come a knockin', as they say. Anyway, I need to get this gate open so that I don't have to worry about getting back in. Lovely, a conveniently me-sized hole. Phrases that can be taken out of context. Oh yeah, this is, yeah, okay, so this is the bottom floor because we saw from below that there was nothing under this. That stairwell, something's enticing me about that stairwell though. You know, it's been a while since we did some vandalism. Oh, I don't like that. Oops. My work here is done. Well, my work downstairs is done. My work up here remains to be seen. Hello? Oh, fuck. Oh, that was a long way down. Oh, hello. Secret door? Or a normal door, maybe. I can't knock it. Oh, that's... Right, okay, that must be a normal elevator door, right? Yeah, because there's the call button. <laughs> okay. Right. So that's just... That's the elevator shaft, not a staircase. Good to know. Was there anything over here, actually? I looked in this building, I found maybe one thing, but this building, I feel like it's got something going on. So that's just empty, mostly. And then this building is like this canopy roof and this, this one space. What's the rest of it? It's all lift shaft? Maybe this is, oh wait, maybe this is like, the purpose of this bit of the facility is, is a vehicle lift, maybe? Hi, Bina. You missed me making some incisive political commentary. Yeah, I guess this has to be a vehicle, vehicle lift, like that's its purpose. Wait, why is it? That's weird. Oh, I must have hit the emergency stop button. Can I hit the, n <laughs> will this work? Oh dear. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if there's anything else down here. We found an outboard motor already. Oh, I think this is, is this the warehouse or the factory? That's the safe factory where they make the safes. I think that's, oh, that's the warehouse is up on top of this layer, I think. Eek. It's a lot harder to think in 3D space than 2D space. This one's the safe factory. I wonder where they keep the dangerous factory. You gotta feel for the, uh, the guys who get assigned to the dangerous factory. <laughs> everyone, everyone wants to be assigned to the, uh, the safe factory. Oh, 
Oh, these are more safes. These are all safes. Which I guess makes sense. It never occurred to me that they were making anything here other than the robots, but I guess they are a security company, so they make safes as well, and maybe alarm systems. Which does add up. As does the immense amount of moolah I've managed to hoover up as I've been wandering around. Okay, so I've explored that vehicle lift. Although the purpose of that vehicle lift escapes me, because there's only the river down here. Weird. I guess maybe it's a loading lift for river-based supplies, but they have an actual dock over there, so... Hmm, okay, so that's... And that's the corporate bit, then that's... That's the warehouse. So what's that? Because that's... That's what I was looking at before, where I was wondering if it was the warehouse. Okay, that should be my next goal, though, because that's the next discrete standing building. Hmm. Oh, I guess this is... Uh, yeah, this is under construction. This is just... There's nothing in here. But... As certain real-life people know, building sites are a great place to nick stuff. So you'd think there'd be something here for me to steal, but sadly there is not. Alright, what's that building? What are you? Ah, employee stuff. Okay. Employee stuff has potential. I found wallets in toilets before. I'm not ashamed of taking of taking toilet money. Oh, a parking machine. Traditionally, if you smash open a parking machine, you can get money out of it. They're like these little, uh, like, reward thingies all over the city. Oh. Hello. What's down here? Anything? No, okay. Why did I shoot it twice? So this is like the main facility entrance then. And this is the robot factory, okay. Which I guess is the danger factory. Because that's where they're manufacturing the danger for me. So that story of that building is more parking? And I guess the upper floors are as well. So I guess it's staff parking, maybe? How do I get upstairs? There is a lift. These all have emergency stops. I wonder if there's something that'll be useful for- Oh, this is the parking garage that I was in earlier. Hey, dumpster fire. I hope you are having a lovely day. And if you weren't before, well, you sure are now. Because how could anyone not be having a lovely day watching me commit low-grade vandalism to a large corporate production facility? Although you did miss me draw a big dick and balls on the wall earlier in the uh, corporate foyer, which is the appropriate place to do that. Okay, that, okay this, was the, this is the under construction building, right? But it's lower floors have stuff in the upper story. Oh, ouch. Yeah, okay, so the new the new surface here. So this is an extension, right? This is an expansion that they're putting on top of of this. And then this, okay, so this is the warehouse then. Those signs are misleading. So this is the warehouse, which means I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up and continue to loot everything I can get my greedy little mitts on. 
This place has already been pretty productive. I think I've got like... Once again, I need to- I need to- I need to curb my instinct to immediately explode any safe I see. I can't assume that just because it's a safe it has treasure in. If it's a safe in a warehouse of a company that makes safes, it probably hasn't been sold yet and it probably doesn't have anything in it. Explosions are fun though, I'm not going to deny that. That's another uh, of the mission targets, but... Mission targets are a secondary priority. And my main priority is some quids for my pro quo. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> How did this happen? I love I love to walk into a into a into one of the traditional jobs, i.e. warehouse guy. Like the locations for one of those and just be like, oh, someone's lost the job over that one. Unless maybe it's a specialized tool. I don't know. I'm not a safe manufacturer. Maybe they need a, a sideways forklift for some reason. Waterproof material sample worth $90. Oh, I'm stuck now. Hang on, where's my where's my unsticker? There we go. It solves every problem. I'm starting to think there isn't much in this warehouse for me to steal. I found a thing. And then that's Yeah. So that must be the same ceiling height as what the way I got in here. I guess that's that. Oh, and this is the vaults they're digging. So that's also got nothing in it. Why do they bother... Oh, wait, no. This, they didn't bother locking them. <laughs> I didn't need to explode all those safes. I could have just... Oh, well, this one is locked. Why would you Why would you lock a safe that you haven't sold yet? Maybe there is something in it. Oh, shit. I just realised I was taking cover from a large explosive behind an enormous propane tank. <laughs> That could have been unlucky. Fortunately, everything went better than expected. Okay, so that's warehouse. I've now explored warehouse. Warehouse, their house. Oh, this is like a suspension bridge. That's cool. I'm sure that fire will put itself on. Ah, that's the other skylight I saw. Okay. What's this? Oh, I can't read that sign. Oh, hello. I love a tunnel. You know what? Maybe I will have a look at the docks. Maybe then docks are under construction as well. Aha. Scuba diving oxygen tanks worth 150. Who's been diving here and what for? Like material for the things their buildings being offloaded here. This class of boat gets around a lot. It's in three or four of the maps, I think. Maybe it's the same boat. Maybe there's like one shipping company in Locale and they all use this particular boat. Which would be efficient to a degree, I suppose. What's this? Oh, it's a light. Generally speaking, if a shark bites your leg, it's because it's trying to figure out what you are and it doesn't have hands. Uh, this has led to the maligned reputation of sharks on beaches and amongst swimmers and so on. But really, they just want to know what you are. They're trying to figure out what you are. And the way they do that is by biting, because that's the only tool by which they can interact with the world. High sensitivity moisture sensor. Nice. Although, I figure it must have been... Uh, a bit of a waste leaving that in the water. Like, I don't need a moisture sensor to know that there's a lot of moisture down here in the icy underbelly of a delivery dock. Anyway, I think 
Teardown Guy has a similar problem. Teardown Guy mostly just wants to learn about the world around him, but he, he doesn't have thumbs. What he has instead is Sledgehammer. Another unlocked door. They really didn't think people would bother to steal anything from a huge corporate office. Although I suppose in their defense, there's nothing to steal in this tower whose purpose appears to be to allow me to reach the roof. There is something in here. Oh, that, that's a mission goal, so I'm leaving it alone. Huh. Any valuables up here? Nope, looks like I wasted some planks. That must be part of the factory. I guess the whole this whole end of the thing is the factory. I'll have to take it floor by floor if I want to actually make sure I find everything there is to find. Robot factory is that way. Pump station. There's a pump station and all. There's a pump station down here. That must be this, which is next to the warehouse. Oh, I really want to set this place on fire. <laughs> I love arson around. I love slidey doors. I love a lot of things. Oh, hello. Half ambient light sensor. Lifts. There's so many fucking lifts. does not appear to be a pumping station. As far as I can tell, this is a room in which they keep pallets. Ah, now this seems like a pump station. I guess that's only a joke that works if there's like pornography lying around. I've ruined this guy's TV for no real reason, but that's just one. Okay, this is the pumping station, right? No, this is an office. Where's the goddamn pump station? There will be... The violence will continue until my demands are met. Where, where the hell is this pump station at then? That says the safe factory. Pointing that way. So... The safe factory must be over here? Right, maybe the ground- yeah, okay, so the ground floor is the safe factory and the robot factory is upstairs. Okay. That makes a degree of sense. We all know robots like to be vertical, after all. Uh, myself not excluded. Although being horizontal is kind of nice too. Oh shit, I fell down. Um, well, I sort of jumped, really. Where's the pumping station? There's no pump controls in there, so it can't be this. There's nothing that could be pump controls. This is just like a mini office space. Why did I even see the sign? The phantom pumping station. <laughs> in which we pump phantoms. Hello. Nice to meet you, Flixbus3000. I would wonder, does that mean that you are... The 3,000th Flixbus, or is that like a model number? Uh, that's a good question, really. Because you could be the 3,000th Flixbus, or you could be number 3,000 in the fleet, or you could be uh, the model number, right? Like, uh, you know, the Flixbus 3,000, now with hydrogen cell technology. Or whatever else. Let's see if I can get myself through that window without having to go all the way downstairs. Grab. Throw. Anyway, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. I'm glad that worked, actually. Vandalism solves almost every problem. Oh, that's fair. It is a good number. It's got kind of like a sci-fi sensibility to it, I think. Oh ho, hello, that's nice. 
That's the that's a, that's a cute little cupboard. Almost invisible when it's shut too. Is there anything in there? What is what is this? Electricity. That's what it is. Oh, it's an electrical cupboard. And then this is, I guess, either part of the robot factory or it's still part of the safe factory. I keep hearing movement. I'm not sure if there's like active robots around. Hmm, fair enough. I was a little confused because Flixbus is a bus company where I live. These look like they might explode. Uh, nah, we're all right. It's fine. No explosions for me. That is a whole ass prism, though. Yo, okay. That's fun. What can I do with these? Suddenly it's all a little bit portal. Hi, Lily. Lovely to see you as always. You can do these you can do this stuff in portal too. Oh, okay. Uh, it will also cut the laser apparatus. I don't know how much cutting of the laser apparatus is going to cause problems, but I don't know, I'm not a laser scientist. Well I suppose you could say I'm a lazy scientist. If you wanted to be mean and hurt my feelings. It may be OP, but my real question is, where do I want it to go? What do I want to do with it? Who do I want to melt? What do I want to explode? These are... Oh, wow, that is... That's just... Uh... That's going to cause me some problems if I'm not careful. <laughs> I'm not the most uh, careful of players, generally speaking. I love to make a mess. Bzzzt. Well, I'm sure that there's somewhere I can direct this where it will cause problems. You know, in addition to the problems I've already caused. <laughs> it does kind of feel like it should be going bzzz. Ah, don't worry, your English is okay. Um, oh, is that, can I change the current power? Is it going to run out of power if I leave it on too long? Or is it being delivered power from somewhere in the building? I wonder if I could charge it up. Maybe I shouldn't have smashed those uh, transformers that I found earlier. Yeah, I did, I did think it was probably for a later mission. Don't give me spoilers though. I do love to explore a game at its own, own rate. I'm not even... Uh, I'm not even really doing this mission at the moment. I'm just stealing everything I can find for upgrades money. Then I'm going to do the mission. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'm okay. Surprisingly good parkour game, this. Actually, speaking of parkour games, I should mention that, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, no, uh, I'm pushing a hundred subscribers when I hit, not subscribers, followers. God, I wish different websites would have the same words for things. But yeah, when I hit a hundred followers here on Twitch, I'm going to do a, a full playthrough marathon session of uh, Mirror's Edge, one of my favorite games of all time, and one I have strong critical opinions about. Um, so... Not super relevant, but since it came up, it came up. Oh, shit. Well. <laughs> Accepting my fate as I fall to my death. You want me to go down to the bridge? Don't tell me where too many secrets are. I like to explore and figure things out. 
You mean this bridge? Oh, nice. Thank you. I always appreciate follows. But yeah, Mirror's Edge, one of my favorite games of all time, to the point where probably the most... Uh, I make, I make um, like, in-depth Let's Plays on YouTube, as well as my not-in-depth streams. And probably the best one I ever did, in terms of, like, polish, was a playthrough of Mirror's Edge. I'm not finding anything on this bridge. I think I might have found it in the previous mission, possibly. Maybe binoculars. Oh, I can use the hunting rifle. Aha, is that something? Not shiny, though. Oh, fuck. I don't know when I would schedule it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? The small house. You mean you mean the security thing? This one? I'm pretty sure I exploded the hell out of it with dynamite last, last time I was here. Basically just on the grounds that I enjoy exploding the hell out of things with dynamite. Oh, hey, there's a pipe. Was that just under the table? Did I not notice that? Vault door gear, $140. Thanks for the, oh fuck, I fell down again. Cause we all are tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're getting at. Um, whether you mean there's something else that I missed over there, or or not. Although, since I'll be restarting this mission when it's time to actually do the mission for real, I'm kind of tempted. Since I don't have any real reason to make a big explosion. Ah, uh, it's satisfying. Oh, hey, they built something over here. I don't think this was here when I was in the mission previously. Well, they're starting to build something. Do you mean this tunnel? Because I've already been down there. There's a whole previous mission down there. In fact, I've already been down here at this mission today. Because the last time I was in this mission, I fought a robot for a thing. Which is always tragic. Robots should be friends with other robots, not, not foes. Oh look, there's another way. One of these is that? That's into the warehouse. Wait, I'm on top of the warehouse. Yes, of course I am. God, I keep getting lost. No sense of direction. Anyway, I should finish my my scouring for valuables. And then attempt to actually plot a route to steal all of these, uh, all of these things, all of these lovely theftables, which is a a new word that I've just invented for um, things that you can steal. There's a surprisingly large amount of th theftables in real life. You know, as soon as you as soon as you realise that you can just take things, suddenly the world is full of delightful theftables for your perusal and uh, 
and obtainment. These 1960s ass display screens. Lovely. There's a there's a real weird aesthetic to this game. It's got sort of like modern cyberpunky type stuff going on, and then aha, what's this? Ultrasonic distance sensor. Okay, we've made like two thousand dollars so far. So even if I miss a few things, I'm not gonna be upset. I'm missing an entire floor of this destination, but I can't figure out quite where. Ah, okay, this is the safe factory. Oh, yeah, okay, I went up through that. Corridor is the wrong word. You know, like a corridor, but vertical. A vertical corridor, if you will. Or a staircase, <laughs> as they're known to people who don't have some kind of linguistic distort disorder going on in their brains. I don't think there's anything interesting down here. Anyhow. Okay, that leaves the robot factory, of which this may be the ground floor. Robo Boss, the uh, not widely publicized illegal um, brain upload of Hugo Boss living in a in a jar somewhere in Dusseldorf, awaiting the day where true cyber cyber nirvana can be achieved, and he can just be plugged into another human body. Oh hey, there's got a rec room. Lucky bastards. Remember when jobs used to have recreational rooms? Remember when jobs used to exist? Uh, I am not German, I just enjoy saying words. Oh, it means that's just football in German? Or something? Uh, wait, why would it be German? This area is supposed to be Scandinavian in theme, I think. Oh, this is another vault. Two. Why would you put two doors on a vault? That's weird. Maybe it's a vault within a vault. Hmm, okay. This does just seem to be the rec room. I would have thought there'd be something valuable in a rec room. I guess I'll turn it into the wrecked room. Ha ha. That's what we call a pun. You know, I know that uh, the Americans call table football foosball, so maybe that's what it is. Oh, hey, the laser. That's, I caused problems down there already. That makes sense, and I can't be bothered, because I don't care enough about German geography to look it up. So I am going to simply accept what you tell me as fact, dumpster fire. I must be missing something, is that everything? Hmm. Uncertain. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop exploring now, and I will reset the mission and try and actually do it properly. Everyone loves dumpster facts. Here's actually, I have a dumpster fact. Did you know that dumpster is actually a brand name? Um, and technically most trash receptacles that people call dumpsters are not dumpsters. 
it's a specific brand of um of of trash thingy which has become the generalized name yes just like hoover or here in the uk sellotape or um uh in america they say xerox rather than photocopy although i believe xeroxing is a different technique actually i'm not so sure anyway there's tons of them but yeah uh fun fact the thing i said dumpster is a is a thing right i should actually be looking at my plan so let's see this one's 18 meters up 19 meters up 12 meters down okay there's only six of them so i could probably get these three pretty easily and then get these three pretty easily i wonder if i can prep a, a speed route between there's no boats and the only via oh actually no there are cars if i can get a car into the right position i should be able to drive between the two main points Uh, it depends on the thing that you're talking about. If you mean the secret banana in the uh, the home base, then I have already found it. What am I doing? Um, right, I've got the fucking ADHD in my brain. Oh, they put carpet in the lift. How gauche. It sucks, because you know it's just going to get fouled by dirt from people's feet, and they're not going to clean it regularly. Because why would they? Corporations like to not do things uh, that involve spending money. Which is why I like to get my completely facile and meaningless conceptual revenge upon the institution of fascism. Not fascism, uh, capitalism. I mean, I also like to get my completely meaningless uh, conceptual revenge on fascism, but I do that by playing Castle Wolfenstein. Um, I've forgotten what I was saying. Although, uh, I now realise all of my... Oh, that, that was pretty cool. You can do this in real life too if you're not a coward. Um... But yeah, all of my previous vandalisms disappeared because I reset the level. Tragic. Heartbreaking, even. I mean, capitalism and fascism are both bad, but there are distinct differences between them. Uh, right, where am I going? That one. Six meters down. There we are. Aha! Right, it's the thing with the... Th Thing on top of the thing. Can I not smash this out the window? No. Can break the floor with it, can't break the the window. As we all know, glass is extremely resilient and resist and uh, completely fine when struck with, with force. Right, okay, so that's one. 31 meters down, same level as me. So if I go to that one and then drop down to that one. But where is the other one, then? I probably need to knock that door off its hinges. Uh, I can't wait for it to slide open if I am busily sprinting to try and find stuff. It's five meters down behind me over that way direction. Oh, it must be on the next floor down. There it is. Okay. Oh, I should quick save. In case I accidentally rip these. Uh, I am in the UK. Which is uh, why I stream at this time of day. It'd be like... It'd be a weird time of day to stream in the US at the moment, I think, wouldn't it? It's like three in the morning or something over there. It is seven... Oh, it's not. It's 8.30. Oh, I've been playing for an hour already. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh. Oh, hey, there's like a whole cafeteria up here that I missed. As we all know, corporate cafeterias are the best places to find loot. Actually, that's not untrue in this game, because they have like... You find caviar and things. You can find fancy oysters in the in the mansion level, which is really funny to me. 
The idea of this guy filling his pockets full of oysters and running away. Because I'm not sure you can... Alright, I see how it is. So I'm, I'm really not sure you can you can take those out of the fridge and move them around without causing problems. Oh, it's a it's a whole restaurant today. Corn beef, vegetarian alternative corn. <laughs> I guess this is the employee canteen, and this is filet mignon with lightly buttered asparagus and a 1967 champagne. And I guess this is the corporate lounge for like the C-suite as they say. Oh, is that a cavity layer? Have we got anything hidden down here? Does not seem so. Anyway, eating pocket oysters is generally a good way to get food poisoning, which I mean, people don't usually want to get food poisoning, but if you need a quick way out of work, pocket oysters can serve that function. Aha! I just get out on the roof here, that's nice. I do, I do kind of want to know what this guy's, like, non-work life is like. This strange man who just shows up at the, like, to his fence with his pocket full of stolen oysters and some extremely valuable objects and some very not valuable objects. In, there's, in one mission, you can steal cleaning cloths and rags worth a total of $5, which is honestly a surprisingly high amount for some cast-off rags and a bottle of spray bleach. But... Who am I to know? You steal magazines and things. What the fuck am I doing? I'm supposed to be doing a mission here. I'm completely rambling. Okay, so I grab this. I go this way. Then the next one's way down low or on the same level as me. So ideally, ideally I'd want to make a, a bridge out of here. But that's not going to happen, is it? Oh, hello. There's just, there's just a whole ass secret room in here. Deck of poker cards worth 15. How did they get in? Was that a secret door? I did I just shoot a secret door? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I do not know what that is, I'm afraid. Okay, 27 meters down, four meters up. I'm not going to have much luck getting a vehicle out of here, am I? Right, so if I grab that and then I... I can't make a plank bridge to get over here. I'll probably be better off making... Just doing my best to get up to the second level with planks myself, I think. Right, here's the thing. And that's wall, that's wall, is that, that's indestructible stone, I guess. Yep, that's indestructible stone. The most frustrating kind of stone. When you are playing explicitly as a demolitionist. Which is what this guy's job is, I think. Okay, so if I make planks out of here, I might be able to make this work, actually. Holy shit, that's fantastic. Okay, let me grab this. Now I've done exactly the thing I didn't think I would be able to do. That's, uh, that's the real secret of genius. Real genius of larceny. Figure out how to do things that you didn't think you'd be able to do. Can't 
can't quite reach. But that's okay. Oh, fuck. Oh god, how do I get back up? Uh, staircase. I feel like workplace safety is not a consideration. Neither, ni neither for the protagonist of this game, nor for the people who... Oh, a door. Spicy. Uh, nor for the people who built this uh, location. Can't quite reach, that's a shame. But they found if I do that and then I go like that, and I stick these two together. Oh ho, now we're cooking with petrol. I love being a genius. <laughs> I say as I fuck up. this elaborate sort of cat's cradle. Oh, is it lagging? That's a shame. Let's see, jump, run. Okay, so I can I can make it up that way and then I go left, uh, no wait. It's right, grab that one, and then I go this way. No, I don't because I need to go grab that. So if I grab that and then turn around and then go through the floor here, I can drop straight down to here and that's still too high. I need to go down 27 meters. So if I drop all the way down to here, have I gone too far? Nope, not, I, I, have, I have not yet gone too far enough. All the way down to the warehouse. There must be a faster way to drop down here. I tried to play Polybridge actually, and I really sucked at it. Alright, that looks indestructible. Okay, so the ceiling of, of this is indestructible, so maybe getting in through that skylight is going to be the fastest route. And then I'll need to have a vehicle ready down here in this place for me to drive to get out. And then I can drive that... Mm, somewhere. Maybe not even drive. Maybe I should just try out the the speed boost potion, which is an amusing thing to be given in a in a, <laughs> in, a uh, in an immersive sim. Anyway, what the fuck was I doing? Right. So I need to drop down to the story above this, and then go in through the skylight. Maybe it would be better to... No, I think that one that one then drop down is probably the best option still. Aha! That'll do. Okay. So I need to mark that so I can find it with a big ol... Big ol' X. Oof. Okay. And then when I drop in, I'm going to need another marker to show me which way to go, which is that way direction. I wish the paint was a bit more luminous, actually. So I grab that one, and then it's a matter of getting to these three. I did, I did just suck at Polybridge. Um, it's a surprisingly difficult game, who knew? I could explode all of this stuff out of the way. That might not be the best option. I'm going to see how long it takes me to get these three currently. And then I can think about plotting the rest in. I've got an almost perfect record of 100%ing of these levels. There's a couple I haven't, but almost all of them I have. So I don't really want to... Oh, my mission is to steal 
uh, six units of tools from the construction that's going on at the robot factory. So they're dotted all around the place and I need to find them and take them away. Starting with this one. Spicy quick save, very important. There we go. I need to put a reminder that I need to go around and then down. Down here, out of here, jump down here, all the way down this hole, down here, grab that one. Okay, so that was 40 seconds. I think I can do this. I don't think I need to prep a car. However, I am going to <clears throat> explode stuff out of the way down here to save myself some time. I mean, if you've got a huge supply of extremely powerful explosives, why wouldn't you use it? I mean, wizards tend to say that the real the real secret to power is knowing when not to use it, but you know what? Absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I have a really ridiculous number of explosives by this point. <laughs> oh yeah, it's delightful. Like, the logic of it is so silly. Like, a cop does you a favour one time and then has you basically destroy um, a huge amount of stuff in order to persuade you to go do things. Um, and then you're just never free of them because the police are basically the same as the Mafia. But the thing that's really amusing to me about all of that is surely all of the evidence would be inadmissible in court. If you hire a, no a known arsonist to steal um, documents, I I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to submit that in court. Let's see, that's 11 metres up, 17 metres up, and 31 metres up. Might be easiest if I go all the way to the top and then work my way back down again. So if I take this lift, oh, this is slow. Oh, don't like that. Bing bong. Okay, 15 meters down, five meters up. Maybe that should be the last one. Oh, because I have to get back. I have to get back again at the end, the exit. Hmm. I already found the tools that are around here. Where the hell did they go? It's probably faster to take the vertical route. Oh, it's eight meters down now. Up, down, left, right. Shake it all around. There it is. Okay, so I could grab that one and then burrow down and grab that one. I think it's going to be the way to go. The shotgun really is the greatest digging tool invented in modern times. People talk about the excavator and the backhoe and so on, and I think no. Shotgun. There's this one. And then from there... Oh, that's actually five metres up, but that's okay. I can probably 
So if I just run from here through this way direction. And then up. I'm just going to take this, I'm just going to rip this door right off, I think. Or will it stay open? No, it stays open, it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to grab that one. And I just straight out from the front of here. And then if I can get a car here, I can pop in a car here, bomb through here, and then bail out down here into another car. Oh, wait, that's 15 meters up. My exit is up, is up there? Huh, weird. Anyway, let's have another speed test. Just the most important thing. I can't believe nobody ever thought of combining uh, like a speed game with the immersive sim genre before. It's remarkable. Two things that are really fun. <laughs> Two things I super duper care about. Speed running and not that I do any speed runs, but I care about speed runs as an art form. Uh, Speedrunning and um, Immersive Sims, my favourite games to play. Anyway, quick save. Cheeky little quick save. Where's the juice? Oh, it does make you speedy. Whoops. Too fast to grab the things I need to grab. Chug, chug, chug. Okay, popping one there is going to be a mistake because of the elevator, which I now realise I did not call. I think ah shit, no, I know what I should do. I think I think I have a smart idea, which might if I abort the mission and I go back to the loading, not the loading, the uh, to the guy's house. And I, and I buy, yeah, I made like $2,000 on that one. Uh, that, that should make this significantly easier. And then I can go back into the mission. And I think this worked the last time I tried it. Um... And if I re-enter the mission and then quick load, my preparations are still there, but I also have my upgraded stuff, I think. Oh wait, two blue tide? I guess not. Hmm. Because I upgraded chugs, didn't I? Well, oh well, <laughs> such is life. Uh, still, I know what to do, so. I'm not sure what you want me to do on the maps. I want to finish this mission while I have it fresh in my head. Okay, I was going to start with that one in corporate zone. I'm afraid I'm not sure what you mean. Okay, corpo zone. Need to go one story up, no, down, sideways, shake it all around. Aha, here it is, okay. Get that out of the way. Ah, right, well I may have found it already, but um, do you mean the gold bars underneath uh, underneath the house on the, on the island? Because I have I found that myself while not on stream. It's the only time I've done stuff in this game not on stream. I think I'm just going to explode the whole side of this building. Oh, oh dear. 
Yeah, I know where that is. I just haven't gone and picked it up because I feel guilty because I, I figured out how to get it while I wasn't on stream on accident when I was just messing around exploding things for fun, which is something I do sometimes to de-stress. So if I drop down to here, I can just come straight in through this, this wall here and up this plank if I stabilize it a little more better. So up the plank, grab that. Oh shit. Oh, god damn it. Now I. Yeah, okay, right. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Just piling up the arrows today, but that's life. Uh, how did I get in? Oh. <laughs> um, I, haven't, I haven't decided how I'm going to try and do it for real because I was playing in sandbox mode and I found the hole in the. I found the vent and got in uh, that way. Which is the only way to get in, but I um I used nitroglycerin actually because in sandbox mode you can place as many objects as you like. Uh, so I made a big um like if you ever played Minecraft where you uh like pile stuff up, pile blocks up under you. I, I basically did that, <laughs> hopping in the air, putting a nitroglycerin down, hopping in the air, putting a nitroglycerin down until I made it all the way up. I had to try twice because the first time I accidentally exploded myself and the entire building above me along with me. No, fuck. God damn it. There <sighs> There really ought to be there really ought to be Honestly, I wouldn't. Uh, I would be. I would be so happy if this game had a quick save button instead of having to use the, the thing. Okay, right. Quick save. I'm not making that fucking mistake again. Throw this fucker over. Grab this. Drag it very slightly closer to where I'm going. Without breaking the cable. So I can save like a fraction of a second by starting slightly further forwards. Okay, so that's going to be my starting position. Quick save. Oh yeah, where's my blue tide? Four. Aha, so I was... I was correct in that I was wrong. Smash this window out, put a spray can sign, I need to go this way. I'm getting really good at using the spray can. Bomb out the side of this building. Every time, every time I fall off that damn thing. I feel like, uh, yeah, I think Dumpster Fire mentioned earlier, Little Miss Dumpster Fire mentioned, that these guys have absolutely zero care for workplace safety, and you know what? I think that they are right. On the other hand, you're not supposed to be able to get up onto this edge, so maybe it's uh, not actually something that they are liable for. Is 
if I can drag this a little closer as well. Got to be super careful so that I don't snap the cable and start the alarm. Like that. Genuinely startles me every time. I jump in my seat, I bounce. Alright, can I get up that? Not really. <laughs> I should have thought of that before. <laughs> What's one of the notable physical characteristics of a hallway? You can nail stuff to either side of it and it will form a shelf. That's way simpler. Run up here, run up... oh, miss, I guess. Okay, run up here, run up, miss again. All right, I need I need a wider landing platform. That seems fine. So up here, immediate right up here, grab that, immediately turn back around, jump down here, jump off the edge all the way down to the landing zone, which I will conveniently explode open with more usage of my good friend, Mr. Bomb. That does make life easier, actually. Note myself a nice big landing zone. And then we go down the hole. We go that way. Boom, 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 boom. I think you can be killed by flying shrapnel in this game, which is why I hide when things explode. Either that or just the pressure waves. Alright, that gets me to the ground floor. And out the back wall, got to put the fires out. Drive this out the way. And then I jump in this lift and go straight to the top. Okay, that seems promising so far. Yeet, throwy, throwy, yeet. Go bay. Okay. Another memes from 2012, or whenever the goddamn hell it was. Those became popular. Draggy draggy. It's about as close as I can get it. So, grab this, and then run that way. Out here, grab this, go up. Let me try or run this, make sure I've got it set up good. I probably don't need to. But all good thieves know that redundancy in your plan is what keeps you out of the reach of the arm of the law. Make a plan. Make a backup plan. Make a backup plan to the backup plan. Back up your backup plans on a backup hard drive. And then uh, burn that hard drive so that the police don't get a hold of it. This is the Zen Cohen of the uh, inveterate larcenist. Which is a new word I've just invented. Which means someone who does larceny through the medium of arson. 
which I don't do every time, but um, I've done it enough times now that I feel like I can I can make that claim for myself. All right, let's see how fast we can do it this this step so far. Wowzers! Okay, that boosts my jump ability as well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be careful with that. This lift is agonizing. Um, yeah, I might need a better solution. This might not be possible using the lift. I guess maybe, maybe it is going to be grabbing them on the way up, but how can I possibly make a route that works for that? Hmm. Suddenly, I'm worried about my ability to complete this mission. Grab, turn around. Maybe I should grab everything on the same floor, then drop down and grab everything. But there's, no, there's too much backing and forthing. That can't be possibly work. So then we drop all the way down to here. Grab that one, turn around, go this way. If I'm taking the lift, I'm gonna have to take it at this point. Might be, f might be faster to keep chugging and then just go up this staircase or up a fresh plank staircase. Break left, go around the front of here, up to this, grab that one and then Seven meters down, thirty meters up. Where's the where's the food lift? Where's the uh, the employee lunch hall lift? Is that in here? Or is this? Oh, this might be the pumping station that I couldn't find earlier. <laughs> not not a mere delivery zone. On the other hand, um. Anyway, what the fuck? There is there's definitely an employee lunch lift somewhere. Where does that get out then? Hello, MishEasy2000. Welcome to the stream. In today's stream, we're playing Teardown, a game in which you tear things down. Okay, this isn't this isn't the f entrance left for the employee food place, but there was one. There was a really tall one. Where did it? Maybe. Oh, maybe it was that one. That is. Is that the lift? This place is a rat's nest. I can't find my way around at all. That's the one I used for my previous attempt. These doors are going to drive me up the wall. There we go. Problem solved. Whoops. No reason to waste that. On the other hand, I've got millions. Oh, if I make a path up the back of here, that might work instead. Okay. So we come up here. Grab that. Then plank time. Well, if I don't screw up, it lets me get up here. I'm just going to get up here, and then... Can I build a scaffold that will get me the rest of the way? That's the real question. Pop 
holy bridging it up again. All right, let's we get up here. That lets me get up there. Will it work? That's the question. Ooh. I need to remember more haste, less speed. Aha! Great, and that lets me get up here, which is useful for reasons that now escape me. I want that, which is seven meters below. So if I knock a hole in here, Oh, I don't need to go all the way up. I can just go through this window. Like a proper second story man. As stealth burglars were once known in the UK. So I get up here, I run, I get up here. That's not the window I broke, is it? Hmm. Is that the window I broke? Doesn't look like it. There it is. Aha. Okay. Let's be getting here. Which lets me grab this, and I turn around, and then I drop down and grab that one, which I can do by just smashing my way straight through here. Drop straight down. Drop straight down, drop straight down, and then there's this one. And then I need to get out, which means I need to go this way. Hmm. Whoops. 14 meters up. My exit up there. Less than convenient is what I would call that. You can get a jetpack later in the game. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> I hope it's not the. I hope it's not the case that there's some puzzles you can only do after after unlocking certain tools. I think that's a weakness in design. Um, I really don't like it when games make you go back and try again, uh, unless they just outright tell you. Um, if they outright, if they outright tell you, you need to, you, you need to come back to this level later, then that's fine. That's 15 meters down. So if I'm here, okay, how am I going to get all the way back up here? Is there a lift? What does this lift go where I need it to? Uh, no, because that's not a lift. Tragic. Oh, I don't want to use a cheat. I don't like cheating at games. Ah, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. Right, so if I grab that, then I just, what if I just leave? What if I sprint up here, up here? That gets me to here, which doesn't really help me. But if I knock a hole in this, I can get up here. Which means I can get up there. Probably still not going to manage this, but I live in hope. Oh, fuck. The old physics boop. 
which has brought about the death of many a... many a terror downer. Alright, so I jump up here, I jump up here. Maybe get a slightly better uh, bit of momentum here. Up. Then I can run straight across to here. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So if I get up to here, and I go through here. If I need to, I can probably use the speed boost from the drink to get up here. So I get up here through this. And then it's that way direction. Can I smash this wall? I can smash this wall. Oh, it's right there. Okay, great. Well, if they if they made it and added it as a as a mod afterwards, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for the game to be for it to be in there at the start. Right, that way direction. Okay, I think I can make this work. I'm gonna try this once now and see how well I do. Then if need be I might need to put directions down. four of these so I'll probably save them. So if I grab that, I jump to here, zoom up here, grab that, go back the way I came, down here, jump off here, bounce off of that, land on the ground, drink that, grab this, the other way around, through here. Oh, I need to make a shortcut up here. These staircases are costing me several seconds. Hop over there, may as well crun crunch another one of these frosty bad boys. Grab that, which I can drag outside the window to make it a bit more accessible. I think I might have this on a lock. Might be able to do it after all. Unless I get stuck on the scenery, as is apparently determined to happen every time. Run in here, grab this. Alright, I forgot I can crunch more. Of these down here. Yeah, I think if I if I if I tighten this up by a few seconds, I think I can manage this. Down here, up there. there, grab that, turn back around this way, down, down, grab that way, then I need, can't move that, can move this, what a neatly parked forklift. Can I run up that? Probably not. Not easily. But I can make a slightly neater... Slightly neater path. Slightly better angle. Okay, I can get up that one, and then I need to get up there. Or I can just go up this staircase that already exists. <laughs> <clears throat> so I can go up that and then immediately up this one 
that'll save me a, like a fraction of a second. Hop over here, remember to crush my delicious blue juice. Another cheeky quick save. Let's drag this to be a bit more accessible. There, now I can grab that without going in there. Grab that. Up here, up here. Up here. Onto this. way up here okay that's a bit smoother get these out the way okay so get that out the way that stuff's not going to move this I can drag very slightly closer but not by much the slight rubber ba rubber band effect they have is really irritating. You can carefully position them, but they might twang back. So I grab that, crush a blue, run over here, jump down here, down here. I need to make that hole bigger so I don't get stuck. I can move this door out of the way as well, because that way I can grab this directly. And then I grab this, then it's up here. Up here, I need to make that railing more accessible. It's like I get to use the blowtorch, which is one of my less used tools now. I loved this in the early game, it was so useful. But I don't, it doesn't see as much play anymore. Now that I have so many other methods of removing small objects. Up here, like so. And I immediately turn and go through here, and there's my exit. Okay. I should have made this shortcut earlier. If I'd been thinking, it would have made uh, made life a bit easier. Oh well. Right, time to see if I can actually do this. I'm probably going to fail by like three seconds, and that's going to drive me insane. Okay. The blue crush is not for starting. If I have to move through the air, it causes more problems than it solves. It might be good now, though. I'm not going to make it. Literally two seconds too slow. Literally two seconds. There's got to be something I can... Uh, got to be somewhere I can uh, save two seconds on this run. Grab, back. Oh, if I knock more of a hole out of the ceiling here, that will help. That'll save me a small fraction of a second. And I drop down here. Land. Drop down here. I'll get this out of the way. Uh, or perhaps I won't. 
That's slightly better. <laughs> Drop down here, I grab that, I turn around. Oh, no wait, I have, a, I have a shortcut. Yeah, so I go this way, up here. Around and up like that. I'll get this. Railing out the way. Which will help also very slightly. Then I can just sprint straight along here. Grab that. And then go straight up here. Along here and here. Over all of that stuff. Grab that. Turn back. Through here. Oh, hang on. Not getting stuck on the hole is important. Oh my god, I'm out of shotgun. That never happens. Drop down here. Drop down here. Grab that one. Uh, aha! Okay, if I go straight up to this corner, that will save me a couple, a fraction of a second again. Or it should, anyway. If my planks will behave. Well, as the great sage and eminent prophet Billy Joe Armstrong once said, wait, no, hang on, shit. Thanks for the memories is a Fallout Boy song, not Green Day. Aha, yes, okay, so that gets me to this corner much more easily. Anyway, planks for the memories, even though they aren't so good. I straight up don't know the names of any of the Fallout Boy boys. Whoops. Alright, up to here. Up to here, up to here. Immediate left. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. Quick save first. And try and make this hole a bit bigger without destroying my setup. What do you know? It worked. Alright, so we go up here, immediate left, and... Okay, well I'm clearly going to have to put something over the top of this lift shaft. What's New Vegas got to do with anything? Right, run up here, running, 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 running. Plank. I know Fallout New Vegas, I'm not sure, I just, I'm just confused about what Fallout New Vegas has to do with this game. Or is, is there a planks for the memories joke in that game that I don't know about? I haven't played it in years. Good as it may be. Oh, okay. Right, of course. Fallout New Vegas. One of the Fallout boys. Okay. I get it. I get it now. That's... Acceptable. Actually, you know what? It's fine. You did good. You did. You did good with your comedy. Acrylic spatter. You should feel proud of yourself. You made Dumpster Fire laugh, and that's really all we want. As long as someone laughs while watching my stream, I am happy. Yeah, I do have a fair few chatters. My audience is small but loyal, which is really the best kind of audience. Okay, that's a straight line. That's got to be enough, right? That's I was two seconds short the last time. That's got to be it. That's got to be all I need. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, I can always fall down as well. This is the issue with, you know, capitalist 
hellscapes is, you know, the man wants to take your ability to fall down a hole and break both of your legs. It's, uh... It's terrible. Workers don't own anything anymore, not even the right to fall down a lift shaft and break both their legs. Says a guy trying to convince you not to join a union. Right, quick save. Ready, go. Maybe not cracking one there is a good idea as well. Since it boosts my jumping ability as well as my running. Did I miss one? Oh shit, did I miss one? No, I don't think I did. I think we might make it this time, folks. We might be on the home stretch. can't for the life of me remember how many seconds I had left when I was last at this point, but I think I'm gonna make it! I think I'm gonna make it! Five whole seconds to spare. You can't see, but I'm leaning back in my chair, arms in the air, like a marathon sprinter who's just won the marathon? I suppose someone must win the marathon, right? I generally think of marathons as being a thing that, like, you know, if you get to the end, you count as winning. Like they don't they don't keep track of who got there first, but someone has to be the guy who ran ran the marathon fastest, right? <clears throat> You've got to imagine that guy is the smuggest person. Like on the entire I was gonna say team, but it's not really a team, is it? Because they have like it's like thousands and thousands of people run a marathon. Ooh, three grand, nice. That might be enough to actually finish upgrading every tool I have. The blue tide turned out surprisingly useful. Hunting rifle, nitroglycerin, rocket boosters I don't care about, leaf blower, rocket launcher, let's have another one of those. Bomb, cable, gun, plank. Oh, gun. Oh, but I want to leave that on one damage because I use it as a precision tool. If I boost the damage, it'll smash more than I want it to smash. Which means rocket booster is like, oh, vehicle thruster as well. Actually, vehicle thrusters might be useful. Let's get a couple more of those. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, that's going to be the next main story mission, and it's been two hours. So, that's going to be it from me for today. I can't stream more than two hours, or my throat starts to break down, and I get very sick thanks to my extensive disabilities. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.